This is Dog Behaviorist Sarah, and I wanted to give a video demonstration of the walk with my own dog, Spanner. Uh, he's waiting patiently with his little winter coat on uh, for me to take him out. He is expected to sit and wait calmly. Um, he's never anticipating or jumping or getting overly excited about the walk. He knows we're going for a walk, but as you can see, he's accepting that we're going to leave when I decide, and that's really important. As the pack leader, you're always going to be calling the shots. So I'm going to invite him to come to me to put the leash on. So Spanner, come. Okay, just going to put his leash on. He can wait calmly. And all right, and then I'm going to ask him to sit again. Spanner, wait. All right, I'm going to open the door. Wait, good. Now, what I'm doing is I'm asking him to wait for me to give him permission to leave the home instead of him barging out in front of me. This is really important. So I'm going to leave first and then he's going to, I'm going to ask him to follow me. So I'm stepping out now. Come on. Okay. We're on our way. So even in the hall, so he's getting ahead of me a little bit. So I'm just going to give him a quick little verbal co correction. Ah, uh -uh, wait. So I'm just going to show you where my feet placements are. You always want your foot placements to be ahead of his. The bigger dog, his head can be ahead, but his feet should always be following behind yours. Okay have to leave out my apartment here. I apologize for the shakiness. Okay, once again I'm leaving another door and the same thing, I just expect him to wait until I leave. Okay. So here we are out on our walk and it's a lovely day in February in Alberta. So it's going to be a bit windy. Perfect. So I can see that I had there's a person with a dog in a wheelchair. And that's okay. A lot of people might feel a little bit nervous about this situation because their dogs may not behave quite as well as we'd like. Spanner's a perfect gentleman. Hopefully this wind isn't going to be too loud for the volume here. But as you can see, this person has the dog walking out in front of him, which is setting the dog up to be protective of him. My dog, Spanner, is still walking behind my footfalls, and that's ideally what you want, okay? Okay, so the other dog kind of growled and barked and lunged at Spanner, but he just kept walking beside me. I've taught him to just stay by me and not worry about other dogs and I do that by being the pack leader myself and not allowing him to become the pack leader like that other guy. Okay, my hands are getting cold so I'm going to shut this off now. <laughs> Thanks guys. This is uh, the part of the walk that I talk about with my clients called Liberty where he's allowed to go to the bathroom, run around, I've picked a spot for him to go and uh, <laughs> there he goes doing his business. And of course, I got got my bag, so I got to go pick that up. The joys of owning a dog. But I just wanted to demonstrate that once he's finished pooping, now you see that he's off leash. It's really important to have that trust with your dog. Um, the minute that I say, "Okay, Spanner, come," he's gonna come right to me. All right, come here, bud. Come. Yes, we're very happy and excited about the snow. Dogs really love snow because it uh, it's refreshing. It uh, it's chilly outside, so they get really, <laughs> really, really excited, and that helps to keep them warm because they're moving around. As you can see, I got his jacket on too. Um, yeah, so my hands are starting to freeze once again. So I'm going to cut this short, and I'll be back with you um, to demonstrate coming back into the home after the walk. Thank you. All right, so you can see Spanner and I in the reflection of the door. Um, he's healing very nicely, walk behind me. He slows down when I slow down, so he's trained very well how to follow. I've taught him that, and that's something every dog owner needs to do on the walk. Uh, that's how we maintain our leadership over them. Forgive my heavy breathing, but it's very chilly today. Very windy. <coughs> so, well, thank you to Spanner for being so patient and kind, even though it's cold. So now I'm going to open the door, essentially, and he's going to follow me in. 
after I r allow him to. So he's actually waiting for me um, instead of charging ahead and trying to get in. Kind of tricky juggling all this stuff. <laughs> Good boy. Okay, now you can come. So I gave him the okay and he's still wanting to be behind me, which is very good. And then coming up the stairs, same thing. He's gonna wait, all right, and he's behind me. Sorry, I know this is really blurry and maybe hard to watch, we'll see. So he's still behind me quite a bit. As you can see, there's where I'm walking, good. So yeah, this is a visual basically of what the proper walk looks like when I speak about it. And uh, yeah, so like I said, Spanner's trained to walk off leash. And, uh, but because it's a law to have dogs on leash, he can stay on the leash until we get into the house. Okay, so we're back. I'm gonna ask him to just sit nicely. Spanner, sit. Whew. There's some people in the hall thinking I'm crazy here. All right, wait. Now I'm gonna step into the house. All right, as you can see, he's still waiting, for, ah, <laughs> waiting very nicely. I had to give him a quick reminder. Just taking my shoes off and take my coat off. And he's just waiting. Okay, Spanner, you can come now. All right. So we're back home. Spanner, come, sit. And even though I've asked him to come inside, now I gotta start placing the boundaries that he needs to continue to be listening and following my leadership. Notice how he's always looking up at me to my eyes, looking for direction. Um, that is the number one sign that they are engaged and that they're allowing you to be their leader. So thank you for this demonstration and thank you, Spanner. And I hope this has helped people to understand what I mean by walking their dog properly.